All right, so today we're gonna to talk a little bit about hand pumps and the differences between hand pumps and what you really wanna look for. I highly encourage you to get a hand pump, um, especially if you do a lot of traveling, if you occasionally pump or don't pump all the time, or you just wanna have a backup in case you want just one bottle or you're away from your baby, not very often. You can throw this in a diaper bag, you can throw it in a purse. It's really quick and easy to be able to pump um, on the go. Um, now, there are a lot of differences between hand pumps. Now, I'm not talking about a manual pump like the Haka, okay? The Haka is going to suction on and will use suction and a vacuum to be able to draw out milk. The Haka may or may not work for everybody. For some people, this can pull off milk, especially in the middle of the night if you're full and baby's sleeping longer. This can be great when baby's on the other side. This is not a hand pump. This is a manual or silicone pump. When I say hand pump, I mean an actual hand pump, as in you are using your hands to pump your milk. There's many different brands. Um, this is a piston pump. This one is by Hygieia. Um, Medela also makes one that is yellow that you may get in the hospital. A lot of hospitals will hand them out because they're super cheap to make. Um, and then they have these. This is the Lansano. And then this is the Even Flow. Okay, so it literally is just a bottle attached to your um, flange with your membrane or your duct bill in it to generate your suction. Um, piston pumps, super easy. There's a couple different ways you can use the piston pump. You can actually use one and you take it and you screw it into the back of your electric pump flange. So this is from the Hygieia pump. Um, normally you would, there's a little hole back here and that's where you put in your tube to connect to your electric pump. With Medela and with Hygieia, you just screw this in and you can do one breast at a time. So it's compatible, this brand is compatible with its own brand. Um, and the nice thing about this pump is you can actually change the flange so that you get the right size for your breast. This one also, you can do it with the, this is the membrane, or you can take this off and switch it for the duck bill. Okay, so Hygieia is great. Um, on this that twists, this controls how much suction you have. So the um, it'll have knobs indicating how strong the suction is. So you start low and slow on one to do your stimulation to get your milk to let down, and then you crank it up to actually express your milk. So it works the same as an electric pump in that you can change how strong the suction is um, to tell your breast to either let down milk or to express that milk. Um, with these other hand pumps like the Lansano, you can adjust on the top for that strength. So you actually move this piece um, to give you different suction strengths. And then you're controlling the cycle with your hands. So really quick flutter is going to give you that stimulation mode to help let down your milk. And a more rhythmical, consistent pumping is going to help you express. Um, again, with the Lansano, this is gonna come with a duck bill, which is my preferred membrane. Most of us will find that we get a better suction, we get a better vacuum with the duck bill than with the membrane. So if you can, switch to this. Now these do wear out with time, so make sure that you're changing these routinely um, if you're starting to notice you're losing suction. The other thing I like about the Lansano is it this piece, this flange, it's gonna come standard with a 24, but you can change it for whatever flange you're using. So the Lansano is compatible with the Medela. So this is a Medela 21. It's also compatible um, with some of the May Moms. It's with any of these ones that are straight, but you could also put a pump and pal on there, okay? So that's what I like about the Lansano. When you're looking for a hand pump, you want one where you can change your, your flange size so that you're getting a better fit. Because unlike those other ones, the Even Flow, it's gonna have a rubber band on it. It's kind of a one size fits all rubber band. You can't change the um, tension that it has for your suction. Um, you can change this piece inside to be able to get you longer or shorter, um, to be able to try to change your suction, but this flange is standard. It's attached. It's only gonna be um, a 28.5 millimeter, which is huge. 
okay? In my practice, I can't even tell you the last time I recommended a 28 millimeter flange. I would say the vast majority, 70% of the people that I'm working with, I'm recommending a 19 or 21 millimeter. So with something like this, this would only be for an extreme emergency where you're like, oh my gosh, I need a hand pump, I'm out of town and I forgot a piece or I broke a piece on my pump and I need something and this is the only one available on the shelf because in reality, this is not gonna stimulate or empty you well. Um, this one also, the even flow, is gonna have the membrane in it. So this does come off for you to be able to clean it, but this isn't gonna generate you as much suction. So this pump is fine if you're in an emergency situation, but if you're gonna use it any more than once or twice, not a good investment. So there's my spiel on hand pumps, now you know.